12 News is your local election headquarters and we're walking you through the voting process here in Rhode Island. So what you'll want to have before you head to the polls, if you don't know already, is some form of a photo ID. As you can see here, it is required to vote. This is a list of acceptable ones, your driver's license, which you probably have on you, or a voter ID if you don't drive. A passport is also acceptable, as is a military ID. Any kind of insurance card, too, that has your photograph on it. Now, if you don't have a valid photo ID, ID, or let's say your license is expired and maybe you didn't realize it, well, you can still vote and give information, but it will be considered a provisional vote. They'll put it in a special packet and give it to the canvassers who will look at it and cross check your name with the information you gave and make sure that you are who you say you are. You can go online after election day and check to make sure that your ballot was actually counted through this process. So this is also a copy of one of the ballots here. Of course, this is for Cranston, so it might look different depending on where you live, but this is the basic one that you'll see here as you go to a polling location. And then after you have all of that and a ballot in hand, you vote, submit it into the machine, and find out the results tonight.